I am far too nice and I promise you that I'm not going to keep doing this. I also saw this thread by Universal Noob in the NLSC Patching Help and Requests Forum. He's looking for help with an empty custom team logo. This is something that I love doing, blanking out logos so they don't show up on the uniforms when using creative teams. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. It is very similar to how we did if you watched the other video on um, how to just change logos. Except since we're doing it, we only care really about the uniforms themselves. We only need to edit the logo file with the numbers after. Create a team logos start with 1000, they go from 1000 to 1091. There you go. So you have to go through here and find what your create a team used for a logo. I will tell you that uh, logo 1000 is the NLC logo. I will tell you that the logo 1001 <laughs> is one I believe yeah so this is one now this is colored blue green and red because that's how the game recolors the logo for what uh, team colors you have for that particular it's actually by uniform but for that team so um, if you go to the jerseys tab you can change this around but let's say screw this logo I'm just using a creative team just because I want to have my own uniform and creative team in the thing without having the redditor yet so we need to blank out this texture so let's go ahead and export this out and blank me as a texture name. Go ahead and start up GIMP. All you need to do is load it up, press OK, and watch this. You ready? I'm going to hit one key. Delete. I hit the delete key. That's it. You can also go ahead and just hit your eraser tool and do this. Or you can do it like this or you can just hit the delete key. That's it. Go to export blank me DDS. We'll just overwrite it. Replace. DXT5. Generate those MIT maps. OK. Close this out. Go ahead and close out GIMP. Import res. Blank me. Gone. That's it. And now when the team uses that particular logo, um, it should disappear. Now, I haven't done this in 2K13. I remember in 2K11 I had an issue with this. It didn't show up in 2K12. But just in, for whatever reason, just in case um, the logo gets all screwed up, this is what you do to fix it. Go all the way down to the bottom here, really close. Go back to the pen, hard, and we'll do one pixel. Put one pixel down in the bottom corner like that. Uh, once again, we'll export this. Um, one pixel and DXT5 generate those bitmaps. Okay, close. Now this is only if it screws up. Um, like it, uh, it, it you'll, you'll you'll notice if it screws up or not. And if that happens, just go ahead and import this one pixel little thing. You can't even notice it. You're not going to notice it on the uniform unless you really, 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 really look for it. And that will be the other way that you can use to blank out a texture. Now, me personally, I have a bunch of these made and at the ready. If you look at the beginning of my amazingly organized NBA 2K13 um, folder, folder, yes, I have a couple of extra, you know, things I don't really need. But look at this: 120, 128 by 2028, 128 by 256, uh, 512 by 256. I mean. These are all blank DDS files that are ready to be imported just in case I need to import a, import a blank uniform, um, texture. For instance, like the word mark um, that I blanked out. So that is basically how you blank out uniforms for creative team uniforms. I hope this helped uh, Universal Noob and anyone else who watched it. And I hope you guys are having a good time and you learned something. And I'll see you on the next tutorial.